so good afternoon all of you uh, i was i joined during your introduction uh, when your introduction was going on so i know a bit of your background uh, i think most of the people are from second year who have completed their second year and are uh, going to enroll in their third year and uh, i'll introduce myself uh, my name is yugan sharma i am uh, designated as software engineer i'm part of the project coordination uh, team here uh, under professor fatak and professor kannan mudgalya we work on several different projects uh, some of you uh, you had just uh, uh, known about uh, like the esos project like the oer project we are also working on an interesting project which is named national virtual library of india so i have a good news i have two good news <laughs> would you like to hear so the news is that i have this only slide in my presentation so so mostly i'll speak and i'll try to interact with you all secondly it's only i think lesser than 15 minutes for the lunch break so you all must be excited about it how many of you had a good breakfast today raise your hands okay so i can see the hunger in the atmosphere <laughs> good so uh you have come from like all over india different states different colleges how many of uh, your colleges have a library raise your hands please i think most of the institutes have a library now my question is that how many of you ever visited to your libraries okay a fair bit good okay so the ones who visited what was the process of like finding the books in the library uh, or you knew that this was the book i want this and you directly went into the catalog section or the book section and you got it was it the case or you just walked in and with a thought of exploring new books and went through the catalogs and saw the library so so i know the answer there there would have been both the cases right how many of your libraries are automated and you get to access a kiosk or a computer desk wherein you can search the catalog of your entire library do you have very good i would recommend you must visit uh, uh the library over here in the iit it's a pretty huge library and it's a very good library uh you will get to access a lot of good books here as well so i can see that the library automation has happened in a uh, majority of the libraries now imagine if you want to <clears throat> if you want to access the catalog of any other library beyond your own institution has anyone done that through any of the systems websites modules you have anyone no right but supposing uh, just just think of this idea that if i want to access the library of say nit roorkela nit trichy triple it jabalpur how it is possible so we are trying to make it possible through a platform named national virtual library of india and right now we talked about only the academic libraries how many of you ever visited to a public library which hosts thousands of books lakhs of books beyond academics okay so i'll brief you about this project uh, this project is uh, entrusted upon iit bombay by the ministry of culture and to start with we are bringing the data of all the libraries public libraries under ministry of culture on one single platform this will not only help Uh, the general audience the general masses readers but it will also help the research uh, scholars across uh, streams 
not only the technical streams but the non technical streams as well now in order to execute this project uh, we have another partnering institute named ignu if you have heard ignu is an open university based in delhi uh, we had a former partner uh, cdac uh, this portal uh, there has been uh, different versions of this portal right now the portal is undergoing some beta testing and the portal will be uh, ready for public in the coming months uh, it will be released for the general public now in order to <clears throat> bring the catalogs or the data of so many libraries can you just estimate the number of libraries in india academic and public in total how many it would be just a guess a random guess anyone so the good thing is even i don't know it <laughs> it's in thousands of course but i don't have a authentic source of information somewhere i read that it is close to 50000 plus okay now imagine the volume of data we'll have to deal with for developing such a system it's huge it's in petabytes okay so when we are developing such a system we also have to plan how we'll be hosting it okay so as part of this project what we did we here in iit set up the first ever cloud with 4 to 5 petabytes of storage so we we were involved in the process right from defining its requirement to do uh, to the tendering process to the procurement to the setup testing commissioning and i was just going through your activities or the projects that you will be working on and some of the projects in some of the projects you will have to uh, deal with the cloud infrastructure as well so it will be good for you to uh, you know know a bit about the cloud technologies and probably you will be also visiting the cloud itself where it is the infrastructure where it is hosted so this was another part of the project and it's a pretty interesting one you know managing huge volumes of data making it searchable making it easily searchable for the user another thing uh, another activity was that when i asked you that how many uh, of your libraries have library automation some computer back uh, based software based indexes software based catalogs not all of you raised the hands so there are still libraries specifically public libraries which have not gone through this migration they still maintain the hard copy index registers catalogs so library training for those librarians to migrate and automate their libraries is another activity of this project so uh, i'm sure many of your colleges are remote centers and some way associated with iit bombay for different capacity building programs through these remote centers we conduct a capacity building program called train 10000 librarians at a time so we remotely conduct sessions for the library staff as well as the technical staff in libraries and automate and help them automate and migrate to softwares such as koha and dspace these softwares koha and dspace i'm not going to take a class of these softwares i'm just in very short explaining what do they do a library has you know uh, two types of data one is the cataloging data hmm? wherein using which referring to which you can search what all is there in the library so that data is mostly handled by the koha software there are of course many softwares uh, uh, in the world but koha is an open source software and it is most widely used and accepted so koha is used mostly for the bibliographic data and in a library whose content are also available in a digitized format a digitized format uh, i mean uh, in the form of say images 
PDFs, ebooks, EPUB books. So that data is hosted on a software named DSpace. And if you search on Google open DOAR, you will find a directory of libraries across the world uh, whose data is being hosted on different DSpace instances and it is open to access for public. IGNU, who is one of the partners in this project, they are helping us uh, in this migrating effort and uh, in setting up these Koha and DSpace instances. Another challenge I will talk about, uh, one was that the huge vol volumes of data that we are talking in petabytes. Another one is making that data ready for the use in this portal. A lot of data, even in our personal systems, when we, uh, you know, organize our files and things, they are not very, very nicely organized. We rename the files like anything. So similar th cases happens in the libraries as well. Uh, when we visited some of the libraries and we got the data, and we realized uh, that majority of the data was lacking some information. So a record in a library consists of two types of information. The one is the metadata. Metadata talks about who the author is, what the book is, when it was published, etc, etc, where it is located. And the other is the data itself, the file itself. Okay. So this metadata part, a lot of information was missing. So IGNU is helping us in curating that data. So the flow goes like this that we go and visit a library, we collect the data, we help them migrate, we help them automate, then we curate it, then we harvest it. For that we have written a harvester program and so as part of this portal and then finally it renders onto the portal in a easy to use manner. So this is in a nutshell about this project. Uh, it's a pretty interesting project. Beyond libraries, uh, we have some other, uh, we are bringing the data of some other cultural organizations as well. And we plan to bring the data uh, of other organizations like museums and a few other organizations. But it, it's still in progress and it will take a lot of time. So I hope you find found it Im informative and pretty soon when it will be launched for public, I hope you will use it. So this is one of the projects that we are using and uh, I'm open to questions if you have any. Now it can be related to the lunch or break also. <laughs> so no questions. Uh, anyways, I'll be meeting you again in one of uh, my presentations tomorrow and wish you good luck. Thank you.